Let me not lie to you guys. When you play these football games in Dubai, in this heat, at many points throughout the game, you feel like it's all over. <laughs> you, feel like it's, you feel like your time is up. You literally can't breathe. Like, I can't even explain it. Like, you just need to experience it. I guess those of you who are watching that live in hot countries know what I'm talking about, but this stuff is crazy, bro. There's probably no better way in the world to lose weight if you wanted to lose weight because you sweat your whole body anyway. Like this top can never be used again. It's finished. Got one wear out of it. أذن له الرحمن وقال صوابا ذلك اليوم الحق فمن شاء اتخذ إلى ربه مآبا إنا أنذرناكم عذابا قريبا يوم ينذر المرء ما قدمت يداه يوم ينذر المرء ما قدمت يداه ويقول الكافر يا ليتني كنت ترابا الله أكبر وهنا my people my song featuring Loki Hurria for our people for our brothers and sisters in Palestine is coming out tomorrow I promise you without a doubt this is the most emotional music video I've ever made ever released um, it's coming out at 12 p.m. GMT which is British time and uh, yeah I need everyone behind this man I need everyone behind this song this isn't about me this isn't about you this isn't about us this is about them and it's taken me so long honestly to be able to gather the courage to even release a song for, for, for Palestine because I just didn't know how to do it but alhamdulillah I really think that this song is powerful man like this song can make a difference inshallah inshallah it's a proper anthem and I can't wait for you guys to hear Guys, it's like I told you, yeah? They are limiting the reach of every single post I'm putting out about this song because it's about Palestine. I promise you, even mentioning the word Palestine, even the fact that I'm saying Palestine right now, they're probably gonna limit this video as well. Um, it's never been more important to speak out than right now like subhanallah like i just saw a video today of like netanyahu in america getting applauded like i'm just like i'm flipping livid i'm so angry i actually when i saw the video today i was just screaming by myself anyway um yeah the single is out tomorrow without doubt the most powerful song i will release probably ever in my life so See you all tomorrow at 12 p.m. GMT on YouTube, inshallah. Subhanallah, my people. I just woke up, it's the next day, and I see 1.4 million views on Instagram. Every time I on Instagram yesterday wherever I was on that app I was seeing that video and like it just makes me so proud of us as a community online the fact that when we come together like this for something that we think can, can do some good and it just shows like how powerful we are like as a unit um, the censorship is mainly happening on YouTube right now so we've only got 20,000 views on YouTube imagine that 1.4 million on Instagram and 20,000 on YouTube. So if you guys can do whatever you can to share it, share the YouTube video, um, it's also out on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, all of that, all of that. And also on TikTok, we're getting censored as well. But 
subhanallah like i'm still so happy with the response like i can see everyone really really feeling the video of course it's a heartbreaking video but um yeah just keep sharing it keep sharing it keep playing it keep playing it if you're going to demonstrations this weekend then blast it out at the demonstrations and also if for those on tiktok make some tiktok videos with the sound love you guys so much honestly and alhamdulillah alhamdulillah every single time I love you guys. Arsenal, still as jealous, the killers telling us what they can't do. Hidden letters, I send a message to Neti Yahoo. He's a terrorist, we are ever a sound. We shan't move the armies of God. In the Arsenal, still as jealous. Subhanallah, sunrise is sensational. Hahaha. <laughs> 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 I promise you, I swear on everything, everything. I swear on all the lives of the people that I love, on everything that is holy. There is no contentment, there is no success without Allah. When people say that, I know it might sound cliche, I know it might sound repetitive like you heard it a lot of times before. What I personally mean by that is, of course you can have worldly success, of course you can go and attain lots of things that make you feel happy momentarily. However, you will not find someone who is satisfied in their life, who is satisfied, that's the key word, without feeling like they are pleasing Allah, without feeling like they are close to Allah. Swear on anything. Honestly guys, yeah, from the bottom of my heart, I only want you to follow me, I only want you to keep up with what I'm doing, I only want you to, to uh, watch the, the, the videos I put out and stuff. If you feel like I'm genuinely benefiting your lives, if you feel like I offer you good advice, if you feel like I can be somewhat of a help, I'm not trying to be a hindrance in any sort of way to your akhirah. Like, that is the most important thing. We all have the same end goal. We're all trying to get to heaven. And I am not perfect by any means. And I'm doing my best to keep my sins out of the public. Like I, I'm a, I'm a sinner, like like the rest of you, you know. Like and, and and I sin, I sin a lot. But I'm doing my best to try and portray a version of myself that I feel like can actually help you. So please, 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 please. If I'm genuinely helping you, then خير. Follow me and keep up to date with me. If not. If you feel like the stuff I'm putting out is harmful to you in any way, then you know what to do. I can't like shape up looking nice though. I feel like his shape up is looking nice. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, right, listen, back where I belong. On the pitch, you get me? I don't really need to talk too much about what goes, what goes down in the pitch. You lot already know by now. Do you know how often this happens to me, yeah? Where I rush to the airport because I'm late for my flight. I get there, I go to check in, and they tell me that my flight's delayed. It's so annoying, man. My flight is delayed four hours. So I'm sitting in this airport for basically six hours right now. I have to sit here for six hours. I just want to get to Canada, man.